Hello po sa lahat. Welcome to my channel. Sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe, i-click nyo lang po ang subscribe. Click nyo yung bell button and then select all for more updates. Maraming salamat. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn all about PEM DAS. PEM DAS is also known as Order of Operations. Wherein P stands for parenthesis, E for exponent, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So when you have a series of, of or multiple operations in a given number or a number sentence, it is a rule to follow the order of operation. So in this video, note that no opposite operations must be combined. Although in the higher level, you will you can you can combine opposite operations, but in this video it is suggested to or not to combine opposite operations. Let's have addition and subtraction. We all know that the opposite of addition is the subtraction or the opposite of subtraction is addition. So let's say we have 7 plus 3 equals 10. So when you subtract 10 and 3, it will become 7. On the other hand, when you subtract 10 and 7, you will get 3. So addition and subtraction are opposite operations. Example, we have 5 plus 2 minus 3. Okay, so how do we solve 5 plus 2 minus 3? So, following the MDAS, following the rule, you have 5 plus 2 minus 3, we get 7 minus 3, which is 4. So, first thing to do is to add before you subtract. So, 5 plus 2, that's 7 minus 3, you just copy and then Solve it again, become 4. Let's have another example. How about 15 minus 9 plus 8? So, 15 minus 9 plus 8, following the rule, we get 15 minus 17. So, on the note, we have no opposite operations must be combined. So, minus 9 cannot be combined with plus 8. Okay, so, hindi natin siya pwedeng pagsamahin kasi si 9 naka minus siya and then si 8 naka plus siya. So, this 15 minus 7 is not advisable. Okay, so, ibig sabihin mali yan. This is wrong. So, kapag ganun yung ginawa mo, ibig sabihin mali ka na kahit sinundan mo yung rule which is addition first before the subtraction. Now, what are the things that you can do? What are the processes that you can do? So, let's have, let's have it again. So, all you can do is to interchange. Okay? The process number one is to interchange. So, pwede mo silang pagbalik ta rin. Sa addition and subtraction to, ah, let's say we have 15 minus 9 plus 8, you can interchange o pagpalitin mo sila ng pwesto, gagawin mo siyang 15 plus 8 minus 9 which is equal to 23 minus 9 is equal to 14. Okay? Or, the process number 2, let's say it again, 15 minus 9 plus 8. The process number 2 is just perform the operation. So, regardless of the, the order of operation, so, hindi mo siya susundan, perform the operation. So, 15 minus 9, that's 6, copy, plus 8, will become 40. So, as you can see, the, the answer in the first process and the second process is the same. Okay? So, your answer is correct. For some, let's say it again, 15 minus 9 plus 8. So, if you will combine, in the higher level, if you will combine minus 9 plus 8, will become minus 1. Especially in algebra. Okay? Wherein you can you can combine negative and positive. Okay? 
So that's 15 minus 1, that's 14, which is correct. So the process number 1 and the process number 2 is also correct. Note that in this video, no opposite, uh, no opposite operations must be combined. Okay? So kapag magkabaligtad na operation, huwag mo silang pagsasamahin. Okay? Let's proceed with multiplication and division. Same as true in addition and subtraction, multiplication and division are opposite operations. Okay, magkabaligtad yan. Let's say we have 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, so 6 divided by 3, that's 2. So 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So kaya sila naging opposite operation. Again, note, no opposite operations must be combined. Let's have an example. So, following the MDAS, okay, the multiplication first before the division, 3 times 8 divided 6 is equal to what number? Okay, let's copy. So, 3 times 8 is equal to 24 divided 6. That's 4. Example number 2, we have 4 divided by 2 times 6 equals what number? So, if you will do 4 divide 12, Okay, which is 2 times 6, your answer is incorrect. Okay? You have incorrect answer. So, ano yung gagawin natin kapag ganyan? The first thing that you will do, again, let's copy. You can interchange. Process number 1, interchange. O pagpalitin mo sila ng pwesto. Okay? So, si times 6, uhunayin mo siya. And then, si divide 2, uhuli mo siya. So, tignan natin kung magiging pareho yung sagot. So, 4 times 6, that's 24 divided 2, which is equal to 12. Okay? Or, you can perform the operation. Okay? Pwede naman siya. 4 divided 2, that's 2. And then, copy 6, that's 12. So, as you can see, the process in number 1, the process in number 2, okay, are the same. So, your answer is correct. Okay? Note that no opposite operations must be combined. Let's have exponent. Okay? So, exponent, multiplication is also known as the repeated addition. Okay? So, si multiplication, tinatawag yan lagi na repeated addition. Or, si multiplication, nag-occur siya. So, lumitaw yan kasi paulit-ulit na addition. So, paano? Let's have example. We have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 8. Okay? So, in multiplication, that's 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Okay? Now, exponent is also known as the repeated multiplication naman siya. So, kung si multiplication, repeated addition siya, exponent is known as repeated multiplication. Let's have an example. So, example is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 16. So, in writing the exponent, you will get 2 and then a small number, 4, okay, kung ilang beses si 2, which is equal to 16. Okay? Yung maliit na number na yun, the smaller number on the upper right of a given number is what we call the exponent. Yung maliit na number nasa itaas pa ng isang number, ang tawag natin doon exponent. Okay? Now, this uh, 2 and 4 which is equal to 16 is read as 2 raised to 4th power. Okay? Some say, some says it is 2 raised to the power of 4. So, any any idea is correct. Okay? So, but most of the time, the most commonly used phrase in this, uh, in reading this exponent is read as 2 raised to the 4th power. Okay? So, we have n raised to 0. n raised to 0 power. Any number is raised to 0 equals 1. So, in algebra, even in the higher math, okay, if the exponent is 0, that number or even the letter, the variable, okay, is always equal to 1. Any number. Kahit umabot pa yan ng 1 million raised to 0. 
that's equals to 1. Okay? We have n and then smaller 2 on the as the exponent with we which read as n squared. Okay? And then we have n and small 3 number as the exponent read as n cubed. n and smaller number 4 is n raised to the 4th power. Okay? Note that ordinal numbers are used from power of 4 onwards. So, ibig sabihin, from 4 hanggang sa umabot ka ng anong number, ordinal numbers na yung ginamit. Now, what are the ordinal numbers? So, as a review, ordinal numbers, ito yung position. Okay? Let's say 5, we have 5th. 6, 6. So, with th. Okay? 11, 12, 21st, ganyan. 50 yet, okay, 50 yet, uh, 52nd, 63rd, okay. So, from 4 onwards, we use ordinal numbers. Now, let's have the group, uh, the parentheses, okay. Angle brackets, braces, or the what we call curly brackets in other term, that's curly brackets. Brackets, or in other term, is box brackets, and the parentheses, or in the other term, there are, uh, they are round brackets, are called grouping symbols. Okay, so these are the grouping symbols. Now, note that in order of operations, grouping symbols are done first. Okay, so sila yung mga nauuna, yung may mga grouping symbols. And then, followed by the MDAS. So, sumusunod lang yung MDAS. Now, in these brackets, which will be solved first? So, sino yung mauunang isosolve sa kanila? So, apat yan. Again, we have the angle brackets, we have the braces, we have brackets, we have the parentheses. Okay? So, the first thing to solve, or the first grouping symbol to solve is what we call the parentheses. Okay? Sila lagi yung nauuna. Kapag brackets yung pinag-uusapan. Okay? And then, second, it's the brackets or the box brackets, yung parang pakakunsa, yung padiretso. Okay? And then, the third is the braces, yung the curly, curly brackets, yung parang may arrow. And then, we have angle brackets. Now, in in the higher level, I don't think uh, angle brackets um, occur. Okay? Hindi ko alam kung meron pang angle brackets. But, uh, in intermediate math, okay, braces are the last grouping symbols to be done. In parentheses. Okay? So, sa mga grouping symbols, ang pinaka- Huling meron lang is the braces. Hindi pa ako nakakita ng angle brackets. But, if we have angle brackets, they are the last grouping symbol to solve. Okay? Let's have an example. We have 6 times 5 plus, uh, open and close parenthesis 5 plus 2. Okay? So, we copy. 6 times... So, we solve first the grouping symbol, which is 5 plus 2, that's 7. So, when you multiply 6 and 7, it will become 42. That is correct. How about if we do this? 6 times 5 plus 2 is equal to 30 plus 2. Do you think it's correct? No, that's wrong. Okay? Because if you have grouping symbols, grouping symbols are done first. Let's have another example. We have 3 times 4 raised to 2 or 4 squared. So, let's copy 3 times 4 times 4. So, the exponent is multiplied to itself. Okay? So, twice. Two, uh, twice to multiply to itself. So, 4 squared is 16. So, copy 3 times 16. That's 48. Again, that's correct. Okay? But if you do this, 3 times 4 raised to 2, 12 raised to 2, which is 144, you're in a wrong way. Okay? Let's have example number 3. 5 plus 2 times 3. 
So, following the rule, we have 5 plus 6 equals 11. But, if you, do, if you don't follow the rule, okay, we have 5 plus 2, that's 7 times 3 which is equal to 21. That's incorrect. Another example, 18 minus 6 divided 3. Okay? So, we have 18 minus 2 because division is done first before subtraction. So, 18 minus 2, that's 16, which is correct. But if you do this, if you uh, solve subtraction first before the division, okay, you will get 12 divided 3, which is 4. That's wrong. Okay? So, let's have an example regarding uh, the grouping symbols. So, we have 8 minus 3 times 2 plus 4. So, solving the parentheses first, you can solve right away both parentheses. Okay? So, 8 minus 3, that's 5. Copy the symbol multi for multiplication and then you, you can get 2 plus 4 which is 6. Okay? So, 5 times 6, that's 30. Another example, how about if you have brackets? Okay? So, again, let's solving the parentheses first. Let's copy. So, we have 4 times 7. So, 2 plus 5. You solve 2 plus 5 first and then minus 8 divide 2. So, we copy 4 times 7 minus 4 times 2 on the outside. Okay? So, solving 4 times 7 minus 4. So, that's 4 times 7, 28 minus 4. And then times 2. So, we get 28 minus 4. That's 24 times 2. Which is equal to 48. Okay? Next, another example with braces. So, it's confusing. So, we get 5 plus 2 times 5, 15 plus 2 times 5 times 16 divided 2 minus 50. So, solving the parentheses first. You copy until you get on the parentheses. Okay? We copy 5 plus the curly braces, 2 times, and then the bracket, 15 plus. So, 2 times 5, that's 10, times 16 divided 2, that's 8. So, close the bracket, then minus 50, we have 5 plus 2 times 15 plus 80 because we need to multiply first before to add. Okay? And then minus 50. So, we get 5 plus 2 times 95. So, we get 15 plus 80 times 95. You remove the symbol. Okay? Because that's, uh, that's the last operation on uh, uh, inside the bracket. Okay? So, 2 times 95 minus 50. So, we get 2 plus, so multiplication first before subtraction, 190 minus 50. So, we get 5 plus 140, which is equal to 145. In some uh, calculation, okay, they are removing the parentheses, then uh, replacing the brackets by another parentheses. Don't do that, okay? If you have parentheses, just remove the parentheses. Do not change brackets by parentheses. Take a look at the second process, okay? which is 5 braces, 2 times bracket, 15 plus 10 plus times 8, minus 50, and then we have the braces. I didn't change the bracket, so you will know what to do first so what grouping symbol is next do not change the grouping symbols i tell you okay just remove them until you get a certain number or a certain answer okay so that's all thank you for watching so sana meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito
Maraming salamat! Don't forget to like every video and add your comments or suggestions. Thank you!